is a big part to do how Tyrone Swoops performs. And now third and three, flushed out of the pocket, rolling to his right, and just throwing it out of bounds to the near sideline. The Texas offense, on second down and four, they don't waste any time, give it to Deonta Foreman, a true freshman, so taking the first snaps of his college career in relief at Swoops. And he swings it out to Jay Johnson. Two potential. And the first down for Texas, just short of the 45-yard line. Heard. Flags come in, and there's a little bit of an example of his mobility for Texas on first and 20. That's Gray in motion to the right. Swoops takes a step back and then runs it up the middle. Swoops incomplete, fourth down, and the Longhorns will have to punt. Back in a quarterback for Texas. And he starts this drive from deep in his own territory at the eight and starts it off with a running play to Gray. So back and he did it throughout fall camp. And the Texas got blown out by Arkansas in the bowl game. There were more than a few Texas fans that thought that would be the final game for Tyrone Swoops. But here he is. And there is DeJay Johnson bringing it out across the 20, close to the 20. So second down, just short of the first down. Swoops feeling the pressure, steps up and down he goes. That was Isaac Rochelle and Sheldon Day right in his grill. Low snap. Swoops able to handle it. Steps up, avoids the pressure. And is smacked hard by Jalen Smith. Fourth down. Texas to punt. Field and allow that to happen. Maybe Texas can get on the board before the first half expires. And here's Swoops spinning his way to midfield for a gain of five. Kind of run this hurry up tempo. Swoops has pressure from behind. Sheldon Day had him at the game. Sky is the limit. And a knee injury last year. High ankle sprain as well before that. Here is Foreman looking for some room, but just losing ground. Shoemate and company drag him down for a big Texas a little hope here before the half. Even worse. Swoops into the middle and complete. And bring up second down. Gray on the as the back coming left to right. Nice cut on the blitz pickup. Step in there and turn that loose. You had a shot at a post. It's a quarterback for Texas to begin the second half. We did see Gerard Hurd, but it was very sparingly in the first half. And Swoops begins with a give to Jonathan Gray. Swoops still at the controls for Texas. And Chris Warren is in the backfield. They fake it to him. And Swoops going deep down the middle for John Burt, who can fly. And it is complete quickly to because the whether or not it was a clean catch or not. I mean, he just out throws the coverage. He really wasn't open and took off after the ball. 48. It's all the way down to the Notre Dame 24. And here is Chris Warren who gets his first 284 pounds. Impressive player. Burke definitely pulled that in too and, and grasped the ball. It never touched the ground. Swoops has time is a little high on the throw without pressure on his face. He has time to stand pat. Nice patience. Wait for him to come across. He could go out the back door and get some good yardage on that one. To congratulate Fuller on his second touchdown catch of the night. Here is DeJay Johnson, the ever dangerous one, gets wrapped up again with his own. Big play here for Texas to try to keep this drive alive on third and two, and they'll entrust DeJay Johnson, who's going backwards. See him coming to the frame late here, coming from the left, and bang, after the fact. Not a big blow. Oh, oh there's the there's where the flag is on Redfields over a receiver's head. So Texas backed up to its own 12-yard line and just trying to get more cushion out to 